question number 15 early earth is thought to have been characterized by a stagnant lid tectonic regime in which the upper lithosphere the outer rocky layer was essentially immobile and there was no interaction between the lithosphere and the underlying mantle researchers investigated the timing of the transition from a stagnant lid regime to a tectonic plate regime in which the lithosphere is fractured into dynamic plates that in turn allow lithospheric and mantle material to mix. Examining chemical data from lithospheric and mantle derived rocks ranging from 285 million to 3.8 billion years old, the researchers dated the transition to 3.2 billion years ago, which finding if true would most directly support the researchers conclusion. So we need that one which will support the researchers conclusion. A. Among rocks known to be older than 3.2 billion years, significantly more are mantle derived than lithospheric. But the opposite is true for the rocks younger than 3.2 billion years. B. Mantle derived rocks older than 3.2 billion years show significantly more compositional diversity than lithospheric rocks older than 3.2 billion years do. C. There is a positive correlation between the age of lithospheric rocks and their chemical similarity to mantle derived rocks and that correlation increases significantly in strength at around 3.2 billion years old. D. Mantle derived rocks younger than 3.2 billion years contain some material that is not found in older and contemporaneous lithospheric rocks. So first of all, they are talking about two regimes. One is the stagnant lid tectonic regime and one is the tectonic plate regime. So if we just look at some images, stagnant lid tectonics, you have the magma at the bottom here inside and the photo crust, the thin photo crust on top. Initially, it was like this, the stagnant lid regime. After that, we go to the tectonic plate and we have these. Uh, so in the tectonic plate regime, we can see the various plates. This happened later. That's what the researchers are saying. There has been a transition from stagnant lid regime to tectonic plate regime and the researchers have investigated the timing of the transition and what they are observing they examined the chemical data and they observed that it is from 285 million to 3.8 billion years old. So this is because they examined chemical data from lithospheric and mantle derived rocks. And they observe and they are saying that the transition happened uh, 3.2 billion years ago. So which should we choose? Choice D is the best answer because it presents a finding that if true would most directly support the researchers conclusion that the transition from stagnant lid regime to a tectonic plate regime occurred around 3.2 billion years ago. The text explains that early in Earth's history, Earth exhibited a stagnant lid regime in which there is no interaction between the lithosphere and the underlying mantle. The text further explains that, by contrast, once the Earth began to exhibit a tectonic plate regime, its lithospheric and mantle material began to mix. If mantle-derived rocks younger than 3.2 billion years contain material not found in older mantle derived rocks that material must have originated somewhere other than the mantle and if this material is found in both older and contemporaneous lithospheric rocks that would imply that the lithosphere is because it says if mantle derived rocks younger than 3.2 billion years contain material not found in older mantle derived rocks that material must have originated somewhere other than the mantle. And if this material is found in both older and contemporaneous lithospheric rocks, that would imply that the lithosphere was able to mix with mantle material beginning around 3.2 billion years ago as the researchers concluded. So indeed, mantle derived rocks younger than 3.2 billion years contain some material that is not found in older mantle derived rocks, but it is found in older and contemporaneous lithospheric rocks. A is incorrect, the text gives no basis for comparing the quantities of lithospheric and mantle derived rocks. In A, they are more than lithospheric but the opposite, uh, this is about quantity, that is not mentioned. So that is why A is not correct. B is incorrect, the text gives no basis for comparing the material makeup of lithospheric rocks to that of mantle derived rocks. 
so more compositional diversity than lithospheric that is also not mentioned so we cannot choose that answer choice c is incorrect a positive correlation between the age of lithospheric rocks and those rocks chemical similarity to mantle derived rocks would mean that the oldest rocks would be the most similar which contradicts the text claim that lithospheric and mantle derived rocks were completely separate until 3.2 billion years ago if the researchers conclusion about the onset of tectonics on earth is correct then younger lithospheric rocks would show greater chemical similarity to mantle derived rocks than older lithospheric rocks do so that's why c we cannot take because it says there is a positive correlation between age of lithospheric rocks and their chemical similarity to mantle derived rocks and then they are saying that because of that correlation it increases significantly in strength at around 3.2 billion years ago but this type of a positive correlation will contradict the text claim that lithospheric and mantle derived were completely separate there was uh, any direct relation then what it claims earlier that in the stagnant lit tectonic regime upper lithosphere was immobile no interaction between lithosphere and underlying mantle is mentioned so that's why we cannot choose c also so the best answer as you can see is d